Hi there, this is Spencer Waddy Watson showing you how to replace a bridle on a Revolution Kite. In this case, I'm working on a B-Series Pro, which is a 1.5 size model, uh, but this tutorial will work with pretty much any Revolution product. So we're going to begin by taking the bridle off of this assembled kite. So we're going to begin by taking out this vertical rod. And once we have that, we can take the bridle off of this end cap. You can see it's it's put in through the hole of the end cap and looped over the top. So we just pull the loop off over the end, and we can pull the bridle connection right off the end cap like so. Now we can move on to the upper left corner of the kite, and we're going to remove the bridle from this end cap as well. And it's pretty much the same process as the last one, just pulling that loop off over the top of the end cap and pulling it out through the hole. Now we can move on to the top vertical end cap and the process of removing the bridle from this point is the same as the other two. We're just going to take that loop from the bridle and pull it up over the top of the end cap and then pull it out through the hole. And that will release it like so. Now we can repeat this same process with the three remaining end caps on the other side of the kite. Now that we've removed the bridle from all of the end caps, we can separate the two vertical legs from the horizontal leg of the bridle. So to do this, we can undo this one knot here, basically pulling on that one uh, top bit of the knot and pull the larger loop through the smaller one and then the smaller one back through the larger one. And that'll release the two sections and we can repeat on the other side and let you see that a second time. Now that we've separated the different legs of the bridle, we should have three pieces. One for each of the vertical parts of the bridle, and then the overarching horizontal leg of the bridle should still be attached to the kite right in the center. The final step in removing a bridle is to take off this horizontal portion. This is just a lark's head hooked on to the loop that's tied in the center of the kite. So if we pull on that, then we can just thread the rest of the horizontal part through this loop, and that will remove it from the kite. Now when you receive a new bridle, it should come in two packages. One package will have the two smaller vertical sections of the bridle, and the other will have the larger horizontal section of the bridle. Now we'll start with the horizontal section of the bridle. If you go to the center of the cord, you'll find a loop. And we'll put that loop through the loop that is already on the kite, and then thread the rest of the cord through that existing loop so that we can create a knot on this existing loop that's on the kite and secure it down. And that should create a nice solid connection right, right here. There we go. Now we'll take half of this horizontal leg and spread it over to the far end cap on the kite and we'll connect it to that end cap. Now to connect the bridle to this far end cap, what I like to do is actually stretch out the, the shock cord there so that I get as much room through that hole as possible and I'm going to thread the loop of the bridle right through that hole and then I'll pull it back around and loop it over the top of the end cap. So this way it stays secured when it is connected to the rod. So here I'll connect it to the leading edge as well once we've got it nice and tight here. There we go. 
I'll put it over the rod and it's not going to be going anywhere. Now we'll just repeat the same process on the other side of the kite. Once again, I'm going to pull on that shock cord and keep it tight to get as much room to make it easy to thread that line through. And I'm going to fish it through the hole and then loop it over the top. Now we're going to start connecting one of the vertical legs of the bridle. You can see I've laid it out here so we've got a smaller knot up in the top and a larger one in the bottom. So we've got that smaller one towards the top. Now I'm going to take the bridle and push it underneath that leg that we just connected so that the horizontal one lays on top. And then we're going to connect it to this top end cap the same way we did on the outside ones. I'm going to try and pull this bungee tight and fit it through the hole and then loop it over. Now we'll come to the bottom end cap on that same side and connect this part of the bridle the same way we did at, with the last two. Pulling that bungee tight and pushing it through the hole and then looping it over the top. Now that we have this vertical leg connected on both ends, we need to connect the horizontal leg to the vertical one. Now the horizontal leg should be laid over the top of the vertical one. Now we're going to take this small loop and push it through the big one from the horizontal leg. And then push the big loop through the little loop. Now we can repeat the same process on the other side with the other vertical leg of the bridle. Once again making sure the horizontal one stays on top and then connecting both ends of the vertical leg of the bridle. We can then finish off by connecting the last vertical leg to the horizontal leg the same way as we did earlier. Now that your bridle is fully connected, it should look something like this and you're good to fly.